Class, hello, we're going to continue with our activity culture, being friendly or being friends. This activity is on page 63. Okay, now let's see. The topic is about culture. And I have two pictures. In the picture number one, I can see two boys and two girls. And they see really happy. In picture number two, there is an old girl drinking, I don't know, tea or coffee. It's a possibility. And also she is very happy. Okay, listen. That topic is being friendly or being friends. Uh, you are going to listen to this activity and after that you have three activities. In number one says, read and listen the text then write true or false. No, you have A, B, C, D, E. Like Western Indian thing, friends don't have to be there for one another. In India, you are invited to a lot of social gatherings. Indians use please and thank you all the time, especially among friends. In India, the expectation friends Half about one another are very high. Indians are kind and empathetic, welcoming, passionate, and extremely giving people. No, in the second activity says, what is it, what is it like to be friends in your country? In this case, this is going to be a personal answer. And number three, what do you think about saying please and thank you between friends? Do you feel it is necessary? Why or why not? Number three, it's also a personal answer. So let's listen to this. Pay attention. Thank you. Unit 4. Track 38. Activity 1. Being friendly or being friends? That is a tough question to answer, depending on where you are from. Western Indians believe real friends should be there for one another, for better or for worse. You will never be alone. You will have at least 10 offers from friends to join you in anything you do. Eventually, you will understand that you must go to your colleague's son's first birthday or his or her mother-in-law's 70th birthday. You must find no excuses not to join them for lunch or chai, even after just having had a big meal. You don't have to call in advance. And you have to try to help your friend's brother's niece get a job wherever you work. Something you shouldn't expect from your Indian friends is the use of please and thank you. For them, doing so means you are treating them as a business acquaintance, which is something they dislike. After all, you are friends. You shouldn't feel they are not treating you well because they do not use the so-called magic words of Western etiquette. The expectations friends have about one another do not rest only on the small things. Should you have an emergency, Indians feel it's quite appropriate to order you around. It may sound inconvenient, but for them, that is loyalty. Although our culture may affect the way they see the world, it is fundamental to learn to separate the wheat from the chaff. In this sense, Indians are kind, empathetic, welcoming, passionate, and extremely giving people, that is, friends. Okay, that is the activity, no? the reading activity about culture, being friends, or being, sorry, being friendly or being friends. No, and uh, this uh, activity talks about friends, no? And the special place is India. Okay. Let's continue with the activity one, but if you think it's necessary to repeat the activity, you can uh, click on the right place and you can play the video once again. Read and, read and listen to the text, then write true or false. For example, Western Indians think friends don't have to be there for, an, for one another. You have two options, true or false. Mm -hmm. False. 
Letter B. In India, you're invited to a lot of social gatherings. Exactly, that is true. Indians use please and thank you all the time, especially among friends. True or false? In India, the expectations friends have about one another are very high. True or false? Indians are kind, pathetic, welcoming, passionate, and extremely giving people. True or false? I help you with one and two or A and B. So C, D, and E is necessary that you need to do it. So that in class we can ask some students to answer this. Remember, the answers are in this part, in paragraph number one or paragraph number two of the reading. So, number, number two. What's it, what's it like to be friends in your country? What's it like? Como es? No, maybe you go to parties, you stay home, you play video games. In the second, or in the number three, says, what do you think about saying please and thank you between friends? Do you feel it is necessary? Well, as a personal opinion, I say yes. Not thank you or please and thank you are the magic word. Magic words that can open many, many doors, give you opportunities. Okay, and that is necessary. It's like an obligation because... Uh, we need always to thank and to ask for. That is my 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 answer. What about you? Do you think it's necessary? Maybe you say no, and that's acceptable. Okay. Let's see what's going to be next class. On page 64, we're going to see vocabulary number two, verbs and noun collocations. There are some pictures, no, one, two, three, four, and five. So, what can be number one? It's like a surprise. Number two, people arguing. No, no, no I, it can be, it's impossible. Letter, uh, number three, people buying something, it's a possibility. Number four, it's a city. The girl is like frightening, no? Number five, mom and dad, sorry, mom and dad, friends, I don't know, maybe talking about anything important. And here we have the vocabulary, no? You say give advice, give uh, present, have an argument, have fun, receive an advice, receive a present, spend money, spend time, tell lies, tell the truth. So this is going to be our vocabulary number two. And I hope you can practice them before we start classes. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure to work with you.